Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Medieval 2 Total War with the English Civil War mod. We're here with another battle. This time we have marched on to Marston Moor, so I will be uh, quite heavily outnumbered as the Scots have turned up. Historically, the battle went really poorly for uh, the Royalist side, so we'll see how I can turn this around. There's a definite advantage for my enemies, as they will have quite a few extra troops there, and the Scots, as I mentioned. Anyways, I uh, still think that uh, there'll be a pretty good fight even with this and uh, yeah let's go ahead and jump into it shall we and go straight into the battle and there we are ready for the fight switched up my armies a little bit in the way that I deploy them we'll see how it goes this of course being Marston, <laughs> Marston Moore um, I'm not expecting it to go that well, given that, well, the, uh, they've got the Scots on their side, and quite a lot of them as well. What I'm kind of uh, hoping for is that I've got this one heavy cavalry unit hidden up here in the woods. Um, the problem is, as I can see now, is he's he's got so many more men than I do because of the bloody Scots that he is in fact situated, has got a lot more troops up here. So what I'm thinking um, that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda tilt my army and we're gonna pull back kinda a little bit and we're gonna keep it like this got my big cannon firing on theirs I don't think... Oh! I've actually destroyed the cannon! The thing though is, as we've seen throughout these battles, um, the cannons don't actually do that much. Now, it's good that I've killed one of his cannons, but um, the cannons are not going to be the uh, deal breaker. We're going to do like this. And then the second brigade is going to move up and take this kind of high ground here, supported by the cavalry at the very end. Now, I still have the uh, heavy cavalry out here, so we're just going to keep an eye on them. I'm hoping to rout the enemies. Uh, cavalry, and uh, I'm going to use then the uh, the superiority of cavalry as we've seen before. Going to use that to great advantage. I have been uh, selecting this unit to be targeted by my artillery, and so far don't seem to have hit anyone. Oh, he's got the iron side and the lifeguard. So that actually, he's actually. Uh, He's actually outmaneuvered me in terms of cavalry units over on this side. Um, I have Royalist Cavaliers. They're no good. And then I've got my Lifeguard. Are we getting fired upon? Musket-wise? Or is it just his cannon that is actually hitting stuff? While well, mine isn't. Oh, we've got Dragoons now firing on each other. Doesn't seem like my dragoons are doing that much. Should have second brigade actually move up to a point where they can 
fire, start firing on the enemy brigade. Still have my hidden cavalry unit up there. He has not moved up his cavalry, which is far out here. I can't really see what it is. It's Scottish, it's Lancers. And then what looks to be some kind of heavy cavalry. Scottish Lancers is quite interesting. Not entirely sure how well they will perform. Um, there's tons of Scottish troops, the Scottish Covenant. There's lots of those. As of yet, we're not within range. I intend to get the first shot off, so I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to march in to uh, their fire. Currently, my dragoons are actually losing their fight. I'm gonna order them to retreat to see if I can drag these guys with me to a better spot where maybe. Uh, this unit will be able to fire upon them as well. Oh, they're uh, coming way too close. And suddenly my heavy cavalry finds itself on its own. That sounded like a call for charge. My cavalry is pulling back and is being chased by enemy lances and all kinds of nasty units. I'm just gonna ride past here. They seem to have lost some uh, troops in the pursuit of my units. My musketeers are turning to face the enemy and so should the pikes. It's another unit of uh, Cromwell's Ironsides. You are not supposed to turn. You are supposed to hold the line. I'll advance the pikes onto the Ironsides. And then I'll have my cavalry ride up onto the side and charge them. They're retreating. We'll need to support all the troops here. So it's the Scottish Lancers going in. My heavy cavalry will be supported by, uh, by my troops. We're firing back and forth here. I might be able to, if I can win the cavalry fight over here, I might just be able to quickly turn the cavalry over to the other side. Oh, his uh, lances followed my troops. And in so doing, we're going to pull back. Right. There's a lot of enemy troops out there. So the Scottish, Scottish Lancers were seen off by... Uh, by my cavalry plus the pikes. So that worked pretty well. Do I dare send all my cavalry over to this side? He's sending his dragoons back through and he's gonna aid them over here. You know what? I'm gonna focus all of my troops. Oh, he sent his iron sides forward. Come on, guys, fire! In the long run, it's not going to go work out for us here because there's too many of them. But I'm focusing all my cavalry over on this side. 
And uh, we're gonna see how that goes. Looks like my cannon's actually done quite the number on this pike square. I'm gonna focus in on another. It looks like the Scots are coming across the field in great numbers. I'm gonna move my pikes forward. Try and catch both these units. And then these two are gonna move into each other. He's moving in more. The thing is, I don't have the pikes to stop all of their pikes. But what I do have is my cavalry. Oh, we don't have... Oh, his, uh, his troops managed to get through over here. And it's going for my cannon. The cannon I do not care about. These troops are pulling back. I'm gonna go down for the lifeguard. Well, that's not actually the lifeguard. I think he noticed his mistake there. What was this? Someone died or something? Or someone is routed? What's this? A noble death! No, I died! That's... That's no good. I'm gonna hit this unit here. Okay, so my general is dead. He died, but we seem to have uh, scared away the enemy's cavalry. Pikes on pike. There's so much going on. What's here? Uh, we've got our pikes fighting each other, going really poorly for my men. We got pikes here. Uh, that's actually going a little bit better. I'm gonna move a lot of my troops back. Okay, so the heavy cavalry is fighting each other. Uh, we've got one iron side unit over here. We are pursuing this unit. We're gonna hit this one instead. I'm gonna send both units in. Uh, one of our units retreating. What do I have left? So a number of pike units here, or a number of uh, musketeer units. We're gonna move back to this gr high ground over here. Okay, I... my unit won there, or my unit is still alive, what I should say. I'm gonna try and pull back, reorganize somewhere back here. And we're gonna see about renewing our resistance. Continuing to... Uh, Pursue what I think is the enemy general. Since my general died, I definitely kind of want to kill theirs. But at the same time, it will leave my force open. I don't know what happened there. Could he? I've shot his general. Or was it just that half our forces remain? Yeah, I think it was half our forces. As much as I want to pursue him, I need to hit the enemy army in the back. And then I need to make sure also that everyone, all my troops that are left, gets to this hill. We all rode past 
the cannon. Royalist lifeguard horse was routed. His uh, cavalry is coming in after us here. It's able to route Fairfax. Which is good. Let's see if we can't get this bastard. I'm gonna send one unit over there and one unit around over there. At the same time, we hurry back to the hill. Dragoons to the front. And then the musketeers. A long line as possible. And then two pike units with the cavalry set up. Let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Riding around harassing the enemy general. Um, I can see there's something out in the woods there. It's the bloody Scots. At the same time we are riding around causing problems for his uh, troops. Let's see if we can't get around and join our own force. I want you guys to hold your ground. Fire on the enemy. Let's see, where's my... what's this? Unit routes. Prince... Uh, that wasn't a Prince Rupert. Yeah, it was Prince Rupert, right? Prince Rupert's something. And there's another unit. Uh, he's sending up his troops. The Scots going through the woods, but they're slow. They might not be able to join in time. No, he broke my Royalist Cavaliers, leaving only my general unit, and he's stopping him from um, actually joining in with the fight. Before the bloody Scots come down, I'm going to take this unit right down and uh, I'm going to send this unit away. We're charging. Mostly musketeers here, in fact. I note here there's a lot of pikemen. gonna hit this unit. It's risky, but... Oh, the enemy general fell in the skirmish down here. He got shot. Means that both generals now have fallen. So here comes the Scottish pikemen. Oh, there's the Scots. The Scottish pikemen were broken by that volley. Uh, my charge didn't go too well, and I think he layered the yeah he layered the musketeers. So a double salvo went into the side of my guys, which isn't very nice, and they were now broken. They've got enough numbers to maybe come back, but who knows. Okay, so these guys were forced away. We're gonna continue to chase them. Okay, so my musketeers on the hill... God damn it, they're riding straight as they're retreating. They're riding straight into the enemy units. Which, um... Isn't that great? And they're losing tons of numbers, and most likely they won't be coming back. Uh, my pikemen got stuck in with the uh, Scottish musketeers. He is uh, withdrawing them from that fight. 
I see no point in pursuing, so we're going to have these guys move back. Um, he's pushing out a lot of troops over onto this side. Oh, my cavalry came back. They did come back. Let's see if we can have a final fight to see who gets to have cavalry left in this fight. Okay, I'm gonna ride around and join my line. At the same time, he's pushing, he's focusing so much fire on this unit that there's no point in having that one holding that position. We're going to redraw the lines. What's this? Pike. And we'll send our pikes. And uh, I'm going to put myself in the flank on the Scots, shoot at them. And hopefully, we might be able to send them off. Does he have... Uh, yeah, he does have uh, one big pike back there of 140. I'm going to drag my pike out as long as possible and oh we got shot at by the Scots did we All right, we're holding on surprisingly well given that the uh, the enemy had tons of extra Scottish troops compared to us Well, I sent th I sent these pikes away. My cavalry is back. We're gonna ride up, see if we can start hammering away at the enemy. It's got some Scots left. Are oh, you sending forward the big pike regiment? Our pike regiment was now broken. So our pike is coming down the hill towards these guys. Okay, now I don't have a lot of troops left, do I? Those guys are shaken. Could be stirred with a proper charge. And here comes the pikes. This is this pike fight is gonna is gonna determine. If I have a chance or not. And my pikes rout in the face of Manchester's pikes. We got slaughtered coming down the hill. We're going to see about doing our best at breaking the pikes. But it doesn't look good. It looks like we've got an historical outcome of Marston Moore. In terms of the fact that the parliamentarians win. In terms of uh, casualty rates. Um, definitely looks like the... Um, yeah, you guys won't be able to shoot in time, so I'm going to just order you to charge. And then the two remaining musket units will be ordered to fire into the melee. Yeah, there's too many parliamentarian troops left and my cavalry is just too tired and too sick of fighting at this point. Uh, I have lost 82% of my force while the enemy has lost 75. I think he's had enough. He's sending everyone in to melee fight, possibly. Yeah, he's attacking these troops over here in the flank. Which is probably going to cause them to... Uh, break our volleys from this regiment hasn't really done the uh, required effect on the uh, parliamentarian pike uh, there's still too many of them left 
I wish you'd be able to fire once more before uh, we broke one of the units. But that was not enough. Not enough at all. So now it's down to the last unit. Musketeers with his pike. It's not going to work out, is it? We've got the other regiment falling back over there. Only a military genius could win this battle. A single unit left is getting destroyed by the pikemen. In terms of... We seem to have lost 10% more in total losses than the enemy. But the enemy should have had more troops to begin with. So, even though I lost, I'm pretty pleased with my result. And so here we have the result. It's a close defeat for the Royalist. I don't know if I'd say close defeat, given that we only have 200 men left out of a 1600 men army. 1640 two deployed on the royalist side while almost a thousand more on the um, parliament side with 2,549 for my side as it was I lost 1430 leaving only 212 men left while my enemy lost 1586 leaving almost a thousand men left and what we can see here is I killed about 1631 where which 163 were taken prisoner while my enemy killed 1211 and 208 taken prisoner when we go in to the result here we can see the casualties inflicted, the highest unit they inflicted there, is actually Newcastle Regiment Foot of Pikemen, which should be the white clad regiment, right? So they were actually the ones that killed the most in this battle, so it's not cavalry at all. Usually that has been decider in the previous battles. But here, the cavalry was absent for most of it, and we can see two units here, one lifeguard unit only killing 36, which is extremely poor result, and we have a royal cavalier killing 60, or 36, I mean, and then one at 68. 106 also pretty poor. I'd say 147 is decent. Uh, plus you include the captured prisoners there, almost 200, but still not that great. To the point where you can see this Royal Cavalier, minus 3 experience gained. Might be due to the entire unit being wiped out. Uh, Demi Cannon actually killed 100, which is, given the stats of the other units here, actually pretty okay. Newcastle Dragoons, 100. Mm, that's kind of okay. I think the big one of the big things was, of course, cavalry that that kind of petered out, and I wasn't able to use the cavalry as effectively in destroying just the sheer amount of infantry my enemy had. In the end, there weren't that many pike units left, so if I'd had a cavalry unit left, that could have done. Um, a lot of work. So I think really what it was, we can see kind of it towards the end there where he had layered two musket units. I charge one with my cavalry destroying it, but as I'm pulling away, he's able to get a volley off. Now the volley doesn't actually kill them any cavalrymen, but it causes the unit to rout and in the subsequent route, those forty seven fifty men rout in to the enemy and lose half the unit. So that's a big mistake. That's a big kind of game changer, I think. Um, and then also here at the end, I still had quite a bit of chance, I think. But in the last moment there where the two pike units collide, my units get absolutely destroyed with him barely taking any casualties. So I'm not entirely sure what it is 
maybe it's going downhill or who knows maybe the pike unit was just better but with my pike unit there destroyed at the end there was no chance of me turning the battle and then the cavalry what was left of the cavalry left and yeah i think that i i could have had a chance there's a few moments there which change it some of them like the the layered of um um, like the layering of the two musket units to destroy my uh, cavalry worked well. Now, not necessarily in the intended way to have them shot down, but as the as the outcome was that my unit routed into pikes, um, that wasn't too great. Also, the fact that in the early cavalry charge on the right, that my generally general actually accidentally rode into pikes over on that side, uh, kind of uncontrolled. But then again, I had to be a little bit all over the side to, um, you know, keep a track on what was going on. Now, when I think about it, I think the Newcastle Pike Infantry was the white unit that stayed all the way to the end, and it must have been the one. They must have been deployed on the left side and been part of killing all the Scots that were coming over there. So I think that's why they got so many kills. Um, I, it definitely a, it was a good challenge. And I could definitely see how different things could have had different outcomes. But yeah, there we have it. Very interesting battle. I like it. It's... Uh, kind of throws things up, the fact that, you know, not all these battles are going my way, and in previous battles, you know, cavalry advantage have been the key thing, and in this case, we were able to kind of move away from that in a way, where we had specifically taken less cavalry just because it had been such a deciding factor in previous battles, still could have been deciding factor in this battle, turned out that it wasn't due to, you know, circumstances we've already gone through. And yeah, we'll continue this as we go through all the maps available in the mod. Um, with that, there's not that many, and as we can see, not all of them have been that great, but there we have it. Really good battle, and as always, I'll say, as I always say, Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.